Sie hören eine Produktion des Podcast Imperiums. Ich bin Luke Skywalker und ihr hört Nerdizismus, der nerdige Podcast. Viel Spaß! Herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Ausgabe von Nerdizismus, dem Podcast für Nerds und Cosplayer. Mein Name ist Chris und mit mir dabei Nerdizist Michael. Hallihallo. Hallihallo. Wir waren auf der Comic-Con in Dortmund und das hier ist eine weitere Ausgabe unserer Interviewreihe aus der Streamingbox der Comic-Con in Dortmund. Und wir hatten einen Gast zum Interview. Da habe ich mich wirklich richtig drauf gefreut. Und da habe ich auch so ein bisschen Fandom oder Fanboy-mäßig ähm, ja, mich verhalten. Also da hatte ich schon so ein bisschen Respekt und Ehrfurcht. Und dann muss ich sagen, war das Interview doch very weird. Auf jeden Fall. Ich meine, sagen wir erstmal, wer es ist. Und zwar, es ist Edward James Ormos, ein Adama himself. Und ja, also wir müssen mal ganz kurz zurückholen, weil auf der Comic-Con ist es ein bisschen durch, durcheinander gekommen mit den Plänen. Und am Ende haben wir uns ein paar Stars zusammengesucht. Und wir sind an Edward James Ormos vorbeigegangen und haben gesehen, okay, der hätte vielleicht ein bisschen Zeit. Sind auf den Zug gegangen, haben ihn gefragt, ja, hätten sie Lust oder möchten sie mitmachen? Und da waren wir uns schon sehr unsicher, weil er plötzlich gesagt hat, oh ja, ein 100 Euro, dann bin ich, dabei, bin ich dabei, also du zahlst dann 50 Euro, du zahlst dann 50 Euro, das ist super. Und wir waren uns beide nicht einig, ob der das jetzt ernst gemeint hat oder nicht. Ja, und damit nahm das Unheil seinen Lauf. <lacht> und ja, das später bin ich nochmal zu ihm hingegangen und habe ihm gesagt, ja, wenn er jetzt Lust hat, kann er mit hochkommen. Dann habe ich ihn in der Tat mit nach oben geholt und dann haben wir ihn interviewt. Und auch im Interview konnten wir nicht ganz sagen, ob das jetzt alles Witz war oder was er davon wirklich ernst gemeint hat. Vor allem, weil er sich im Interview gleich mal 18 Jahre älter gemacht hat, als er in Wirklichkeit ist. <lacht> er meinte dann irgendwann zwischendurch, als ich ihn gefragt habe, ja, äh, was sollten denn Fans dich mal fragen, was sie eigentlich nie fragen? Er meinte, ja, warum ich noch so gut aussehe mit meinen 90 Jahren. Und äh, wir haben nur so verstohlen auf unseren Zettel geguckt, auf dem irgendwie 72 drauf stand. Aber was machst <lacht> du dann in dem Moment? Ja, also ja, ihr hört vielleicht unsere Verwirrung auch äh, raus und wir sind nachhinein immer noch amüsiert. Es war irgendwie lustig und trotzdem skurril. Und was wir mit Edward James Olmes erlebt haben, das hört ihr jetzt im Interview. Hello back on the streaming box here at German Comic Con. We have a surprising guest, which was not on the schedule, but we are very, very, very glad he could make it. Edward James Olmos is here. And uh, for those younger people who don't know him, you played Geff in Blade Runner. You played him again in Blade Runner 2049. Mm -hmm. You played um, my beloved character of Admiral Adama in Battlestar Galactica Reboot. And many, many other characters. And I'm really, really happy to have you here. Coco I did that. Most recently, I did that last year. We won an Academy Award for Best Animation Film. Oh, which character and then were you? I played uh, uh, Chicharron. Ah, okay. okay. And then I also did uh, recently Mayans, which is on television as we speak. It's the uh, most uh, viewed um, cable television show in America at this present time. I think it's here too now. I think. Yeah, it's amazing. I loved Sons of Anarchy, but I couldn't uh, catch up now on Mayans. But uh, you can recommend it, right? Very much so. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's a it's a show that I think people will appreciate and enjoy. If you like Sons of Anarchy, then you'll really appreciate Mayans MC a lot. Mm. Is what's it as dark? Sorry. Oh, sorry. What's what's the character in Mayans MC? I play uh, the father of the two major. Um, characters of the of the show itself 
and it's a family drama. Yeah. It's very intense and uh, very dark. If you like Sons of Anarchy, you will love Mayans MC. But if you didn't like <laughs> Sons of Anarchy, do not under any circumstances <laughs> watch Mayans MC because you will not like it, not even a little bit. It's very dark, trust me. If you saw American Me, another movie that I made maybe about 30 years ago, um, it, which was very dark, this is even darker. It's very, very difficult to stay inside of unless you really understand the world that we're talking about. I mean, Sons of Anarchy, if, as I was watching it, it got darker and darker to the point where it can't get any darker. Is mine even darker than Sons of Anarchy? Yeah. Oh. God. It starts off darker from the very beginning. All right. You were in something more lighter, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Yeah, I was in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I, I was um, the only real agent in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Because, uh, um, you know, Clark was, is, uh, is not, he's an alien, he has alien blood in him. So I tried to understand, make him understand that we had to move him out of there. And uh, after five episodes, they blew me up. <laughs> First they turned me to stone and then they blew me up. Yeah, I turned mean, me to dust. if you have someone like, like Edward James almost on your show and have him only for five episodes, uh, I mean, what's that about? Well, that's because the, the writer is also <laughs> hundred bucks. Remember, yeah. you know? <laughs> I'm very expensive. Box, you know? <laughs> that's exactly the truth. Yeah. So we're here on the German Comic Con, and there are a lot of nerds around here. In all your years of doing film and shows, have you become a nerd yourself? How would you rate yourself on a scale from one to ten? Ten is the best. Well, I'm ten. Ten. I'm actually a twelve. I might be a fifteen in Nerdsville. Because, you know, again, I was doing uh, Miami Vice when I was in 84, before yes. many of you were not even born yet. And uh, I was the most nerdy person on that show. Everybody was so hip and dressed in Armani and, uh, you know, an Versace and had beautiful pink shirts, T-shirts and white jackets with no socks. Uh, they were very cool, and I, of course, was a nerd. I had a black suit from Woolworths <laughs> that I asked them to wash and uh, not press it. Don't it iron it. Worn out. And they, um, yeah. Worn out. Yeah. I told them wash it and just let it dry in a hanger. <laughs> Don't you know? So I was the nerd. I was the real intellectual nerd on the program. Nice. I never smiled once throughout the entire thing. Actually, uh, Five years. <laughs> <laughs> Never smiled. Miami Vice was broadcasted at... Um, for the first year? Yeah. I don't mean to cut you off, but for no, the no, first, right. first yeah. year, I never looked at Don Johnson <laughs> and <laughs> Philip Michael Thomas. I'm not kidding you. Look at the first season. Yeah. I never talked to them looking at them. Mm -hmm. I always talked to them looking down at the ground or against the wall. Or You were their boss, I remember correctly? Yes, I am. I was a lieutenant, yes. Do you rewatch your shows or movies? I do because I direct them. Okay. So yeah, I have to watch them and, and I watch... I haven't watched any of the reruns of, of Miami Vice. It's not a show that I watch reruns of ever. Uh, but I do watch a lot of reruns and a lot of work that I've done on Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. Which I believe to be the strongest uh, usage of television I've ever been a part of in my lifetime. It's such an, an amazing show. I mean, I own it on Blu-ray and I watched it at least five or six times and it always, still now it blows me away. I mean, it has a couple of years on its shoulder now, but you can watch it and it is as relevant as any show today. If you've watched um, Blade Runner, which was made back in 1980, yeah. released in 1982, if you watched Blade Runner today, right now, in 19, 2019, um, you will see that Blade Runner sustains and holds itself up really well. Yes, definitely. And uh, Battlestar is the same, if not even more so. Uh, Battlestar will be more relevant in uh, 30 years from today than it was the day we finished doing it back in 2008. Um, I, already, you know, 11 years later, 
more people are watching it today than watched it back in the days when it was being made and put yes, forth. Yes, it was too. very underrated when it came out and yeah. it's growing even better. When you, and in my opinion, the end of Battle for Galactica is one of the best ending of a TV show ever written. Um, when you saw the script or the first draft of this ending, were you satisfied? Were you said that's perfect what I, what I had in mind for, for Commander Adama and so on? Or did you give your input on, on but maybe it was another version? No, I didn't have, I, I was totally overwhelmed by the writing. The writing was really well done. Yeah. And I will say that basically, <laughs> I didn't want it to end. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. What do you truth. say about them trying to make another a movie reboot? I don't know. I, I hope that they'll have a good time and I hope that they'll do a good job because there's a lot of people who really appreciate that world that we created and yeah. that we've done and they'll have to change it because we won't be in it there'll be other people yeah. in it so would we'll you go with characters they actually yeah. do bring about to understand would you go back or do you say the it was five seasons right the five seasons were perfect as they were we don't have to revisit it well it's great to revisit anything yeah. but if it's really worthwhile i mean i think that uh This show especially um, can definitely be done in a multitude of different ways. It'll always be different. Yeah. You know? I mean, the original people really appreciated it. The reboot, the second edition of it, 25 years later, was uh, very strong and actually I appreciated it even more than the original. Yeah. But a lot of people like the original better, which is fine. You know? <laughs> whichever. I just like the idea of technology that humans make comes back to kill humanity. I mean, it's what we are living right now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't like the idea. That's exactly what I mean. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, so, okay, you, you said um, next projects with your, is, is the, was, um, or is, are you still filming um, the Mayan uh, series? Mayans. Mayan, Mayans. Yeah, Mayans is still being, yes, we're going into our third season. Third season. We've yeah. done two seasons already and now we're into our third. It hasn't started in Germany, has it? I think it has, yes. It has? I think Sky has it. Sky has it? Yes. No, 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 Sky doesn't have it. Amazon, okay? Okay, I get it. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll have to catch up on it. Amazon. <laughs> yeah, it's on Amazon. Okay. So I'm sure you can get it all over the world on Amazon now, probably. I don't know. Yeah. So it's getting in the third season, any plans? Is Beyond that, well, we have two seasons. We have two seasons already yes. done. Yes, the first season is already. First and second are done. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, and now we're going into our third season, third season starting in April. You do a lot of cons. We saw you. You don't saw us, but we saw you. <laughs> Fed, FedCon in Bonn. Uh, was it this year? Was it last year? Can't I think remember. it was this year, right? You this were here bon? this year. Which one? FedCon Bonn. Oh no, it's it been was years. Last year. No, it's it's been longer year. than that. I think it's been three last years year. ago. Was it last year? Last year, yes. In Bonn? In Bonn, yeah, yes. in the Maritime Hotel. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I've been here twice at Bonn, one about five years ago, and then last year, and now I've been here. Do you like the bigger cons or the more familiar, the smaller ones, like in a hotel? I like them both. Uh, I like meeting the people that come to the uh, conventions. I like it a lot. And uh, it's like a huge love fest. It's, uh, it's a great way for me to spend time or any of us to spend time together because we come here for that reason. We all have a common understanding of the convention and then we all appreciate talking to one another. So I don't get the time to do this in my normal life. Yeah. Because people, when they come up to me and I'm walking down the street and they, they go to talk to me and I have to tell them, listen, I'm on my way to go do something, I wish yes, I could yes. stay here. Because if I stop, then other people start coming around and pretty soon I have a crowd. Yes. And then to break away from that crowd, very difficult. Yes, yeah. I understand. You hurt people's feelings. Yeah, here, that's I sit down, I sit there and people walk up and I'll talk to them for five, six, ten minutes. And I'll walk, you know, talk. some people buy things, some people don't, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that we have time to spend together. 
and the um, the kind of people that you meet is really they're wonderful. I like I like them. Uh, what's the thing that people never ask you but should ask you? Hmm. Or have you heard everything? No, no, no. I think the one thing that they should ask me is how come I look so good? Yeah. When I'm 90 years old. Come on. Yeah, that's yeah, really. Okay, how do you look so good? How do I look this good? <laughs> it's what I eat. Better yet, it's what I don't eat. <laughs> what do you do? It's what don't you eat? Animals. Animals, yes. So you were a uh, vegetarian or vegan? Vegan. Vegan. To be honest, we tricked you in having something vegan. We had what it's left. We had, don't have any leftovers. But I promise we come back tomorrow and get you some vegan stuff. We promise for today. No, you told me you had it. That's why I came. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. What the heck? Yeah, hey, yeah, but, that's but, it. This <laughs> thing is over. This is over. Okay, okay, this okay, is okay. over. <laughs> it's over. You know why? Normally, normally we trick American people with booze, German booze or German candy. <laughs> but um, for this, I, I don't drink. Say, yeah, I don't need candy. I this, and this is not vegan. So we, we had vegan candy. We had. Yeah. So, well, but we didn't was expecting see how you are. Beer. So tomorrow you will be back. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I you're, promise. I you, promise. You I are promise. being taken out of the nerd. Yes. Yes, category. Yes, you are no longer nerdy. Yes, I understand. No longer. Completely. Who wants to disagree with Commander Adama? <laughs> no. So, last question um, before we have our special Christmas treatment. Um, what do you think should people understand about you? You know, to really be able to understand yourself. You have to be able to discipline yourself to do the things you love to do when you don't feel like doing them. Yes. That uh, it might take a little while for you to get that, or it might be so simple that you turn around and say, ah, oh, everybody knows that. Try it. Just try it. It's yeah. not that easy to do the things you love to do when you don't feel like doing them. But that's pro professional work. Yeah. Not professional being, being work. A profession, being passionate and being a professional. No, just being understanding of one's life. Mm. How much do you want to understand yourself? All right. It's If a hard process. If you really want to understand yourself really well, yeah. do the things you love to do, even when you don't feel like doing them. Then you can understand yourself to the fullest. Right. That's a perfect advice and a perfect segue, maybe, to our last um, offer, I mean question for you, because every guest that was here, mm -hmm. uh, they sang with us a little Christmas carol, you know the uh, song, Oh Christmas Tree, Oh Christmas Tree? No. No? No. Okay, that's another one. No we start yeah. again on three, so yes, here are the German lyrics, okay? Yeah. So it's one, two, three. Oh, oh Tannenbaum, oh Tannenbaum, Wir grün sind deine Blätter. Lots of umlauts there. Du grünst nicht nur zur Sommerzeit, nein, auch im Winter, wenn es schneit. He's just lip syncing. Oh. <laughs> I'm lip syncing, why not? Everybody does it. Why not? Thanks, Robert. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you, so much. you, Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching, and bye bye. We'll see you Good on the next guest. Thank you. Eine Produktion des Podcast Imperiums.